Hi, I'm Hilma Vogue of CarpalTunnelMaster.com and this short video I'm going to tell you why taking anti-inflammatory drugs is not a good thing if you think you're getting carpal tunnel syndrome or if you have type forearms. And it's not just me saying that. I read that long time ago in this book, Repetitive Strain Injury by Dr. Emil Pascarelli. He's a medical doctor, so it's not just me saying that. Even though a lot of websites on carpal tunnel will repeat the same thing, take anti-inflammatory drugs, take anti-inflammatory drugs. In the short run, they may make you feel good, but they're not healing anything, and in the long run, they can make your problem worse. Why? Well, I'm just going to show you one example here as to why. Okay, your forearm muscles move your wrists and fingers. These motions with your fingers back and forth, up and down, that's being done by the forearm muscles. These muscles that flex, close your fists, close your fingers, are located in basically in the front of the forearms as opposed to the extensors which are located in the back. And these flexor muscles are attached to tendons. Tendons uh, attach muscles to bone. And in the case of your forearms, the tendons are really skinny. And you see these pencil-like things? that kind of move up and down uh, when you when you move your fingers. These are tendon sheaths, meaning they're a hollow uh, area that your tendon moves inside of. It's like a bicycle cable where you squeeze the brakes and the brakes close on the tire uh, <laughs> further on down the bicycle. Well, the forearm muscle contracts and there's different forearm muscles and when each one contracts it can flex a finger and inside that tendon sheath the tendons are moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as you move your fingers back and forth. Now if you're moving them a lot uh, like in playing a guitar or playing a piano or using a computer uh, there's fluid in here and if you use them too much that fluid dries up. It's not like motor oil and as it dries up it can produce chafing in there and if you're turning your fingers around corners like this the, the cables have to go around corners and it produces more chafing. Okay? Now, there's something in the system called macrophages which go around through the bloodstream and they gobble up foreign material. They can gobble up pieces of dead cells. They can gobble up dead cells. If you had little pieces of metal in you uh, that were floating around, they could gobble those up too. Now, if you take anti-inflammatory drugs, the macrophages don't get the signal that there's a problem. They're just sleeping in the firehouse. <laughs> they don't get the signal. Ding, 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 there's a problem here. They're just sleeping away. So it interferes with the healing process, the anti-inflammatory drugs. These macrophages can ooze in and out just about anywhere they want to go and they can gobble up your dead skin cells and whatever. And if that doesn't happen, it can lead to scar tissue. And part of the reason for carpal tunnel is swelling inside these tendons or swelling inside the carpal tunnel area. So what can you do instead of anti-inflammatory drugs? Well, it's another topic, but it's icing. You don't want to ice before you move your fingers, like playing a guitar, because you don't want to work for cold fingers. That's not good. But after you're done uh, icing, there's various ways, and this is not the topic to do it in because I want to make this video short, but instead of drugs, use cold. Okay? <laughs> and uh, check out my series. Thank you.